And this prayer was prayed over me to break me, to lose everything that was important to me, money, relationships, people that loved me, and it shocked me. I don't know if you remember when that happened, Jason, and uh, I called the guy and I was like, why would you pray a prayer like that over me? And he said, that that's what you need right now. And in my mind, of course, you know, I was in the middle of a, of a binge and I just told myself, Mark, you got this, ain't nothing, you're gonna prove him wrong. And everything disappeared, it felt like overnight, everything. Uh, my family told me that I was no longer allowed to uh, come to family events uh, because they didn't know which mark they were gonna get. And then I needed to get some help. And until then, don't bother coming or calling. And shortly after that, finances, uh, relationships. Um, my eye happened, which had put me out for a little bit. And I, me and my partner separated for a little bit and um, got some cash and just went nuts. And before, it was just gone. Everything was gone. And I came back to uh, White Settlement. And uh, I wanted to die. I just wanted to drink myself and die. And uh, Mark and his family, um, Robert and those guys up here, uh, they told me that uh, we were going to go watch the uh, cowboy game and barbecue at uh, JD's house. And so I was Rick, and Mark came with his family, and uh, JoJo wanted me to pick out his glasses and uh, kind of kept me there in Walmart till everybody rallied up around my Jeep. And I came out and there they all were. And Robert said, Mark, this is, this is it. We're putting your stuff in the back of my truck. Nelda's taking your Jeep to her house. And what's it going to be? Life or death. And um, it was the best decision I ever made. The best decision. And whenever I um, came, one thing that, uh, that stuck with me was whenever I actually, I have a kind of a similar religious background like Clayton where I was lied to, where I thought that I could do anything that I wanted and all I had to do was just ask for forgiveness and I was good to go. And I lived like that pretty well. Um, but it was taking me straight to hell. Amen. So whenever I first heard um, the, true, the true gospel and it's a lot more than that. And it saved my life. And one morning in prayer, I was sitting right there where Richard's sitting. And um, uh, I didn't know Kevin was back there, but uh, but we were all in here praying. And I never heard from God, at least I didn't think so. Not like I thought everybody else did. And this voice, louder and louder, uh, it, just, it, was, it just said, you're mine. And it wasn't any kind voice, it wasn't in, you know, uh, and I, I sat up and I was like, well, what was that? And it said, you're mine now. And it, uh, I immediately uh, thought about Robert and because that's the voice that he heard whenever he was in prison. Because I'd been asking Robert, where, how can I get that? And next thing you know, Kevin comes up behind me and he puts his hands on my shoulders. And um, it, I knew I was home. At that point, that decision was made. And I believe in Bible study. I, I, Importance of prayer. Amen. 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 And uh, I believe it was that morning in Bible study that we were going around and I, I don't know what the topic was, but I let them know that I was a lifer. Uh, I found my, I found my Amen. and Amen. committed myself to it. So I appreciate everything. I love the uh, I love my, this family is uh, family. <laughs> my 
family. Amen. And um, I love each and every one of y'all and look forward to continuing our family relationship. Amen. Um, it's going to be a fun road. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you, Lord, and we bless you. Father God, we lift up Mark before you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And that, Father God, you strengthen his inner man. That, Father God, you, you bless him with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father God, that his love for you never grow weary. That his love for you never wax cold. And that he not grow weary in doing good. I pray, Father God, that he not turn back and fall for the lies and the deceit of what the world has to offer. But that his eyes be set on you like flint from this day forward. I pray, Lord God, that he have a hunger and thirst for you that this world cannot fulfill. That he only finds satisfaction through fellowship with the one true God, Jehovah. Amen. I pray, Father God, that the fruit of the Spirit Father God would be evident in his life. That Father God, that self-control would be exercised in a mighty way. And that Father God, I just pray, Lord, that many, many lives would come to know you because of him. That you would know him, that, that you would use him in a mighty way. And Father God, we thank you for it. We praise you for it. And we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God, Brother Mark. Praise God. All right, here we're going to do next. Uh, Baggy and...